Okay, I had quite a few people asking me uh, over email about this engine. Uh, so I'm just going to post this YouTube video and send people links. Uh, because I got access to a couple hundred of these motors, so uh, I just want to give some specs on it. So I'm going to use this shitty tape measure. And the shaft height off the ground. Let's see. Better kind of like that. Or if I actually uh, focus the camera, maybe might help. Turn on the light. Let's see here. I don't I didn't really care what size the shaft is, but just so you can see the height. Uh, the auxiliary shaft, which is a good chance no one will use for anything. Uh, there's also a plate on the auxiliary shaft, which comes off. And if that comes off, it'd give you a little bit more room. Uh, so also, I'm guessing that's the oil filter in there. Uh, these two wires here are for the stator, which I believe is close to a 20 amp stator. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, the fuel inlet for the fuel pump assembly for an injection pump. The height off the ground, I'm going to give a rough estimate of about uh, 11 to 12 inches. So, can't really see that on the camera, but roughly 11 to 12 inches. Uh, overall height of the machine, I believe, was 19 inches. I checked that the other day for someone. Uh, overhaul, over, blah. Overall height, I'd say, would be just under 19 inches. So, it's actually more like 18 inches, but you'd want to leave a little bit of room. Uh, overall width, not including the shaft, not including the shaft, uh, is about 15 inches. Uh, width going this way, how wide is it? Is uh, 17 inches, roughly, right? from the end of their air filter right up to that corner. Uh, the base is roughly 10 inches and 5 eight, 10 and 5 eighths. The holes are uh, 9 and 3 quarter inches. 7 inches wide here. And the holes are roughly uh, Six and one eighths, uh, and see if I can get a. Don't know if you can actually get another shaft onto the inside here. I know they say you could put a full six and a half horsepower from either end. Yeah, but by the looks of it. There's threading in there for some kind of polar, but I'd probably have to weld a shaft in there if you wanted to do something there. I'm going to guess that's uh, for uh, bleeding it, bleeding your fuel line. I already had this cover off just to check out what was in there. So, uh, without crunching my foot, the last time I dropped it on my freaking foot. Not a very light engine. So from what I see, this is your throttle control. This one here is not spring operated. There's nothing on there, so you actually have to loosen the bolt here and turn that to adjust your throttle speed. Uh, this plate here, you can actually put an uh, automotive style mechanical carbureted fuel pump on it, which is kind of neat. Uh, this is, I guess, some kind of sensor here. So for some reason, I don't remember seeing that the other day. So it looks like a sensor anyway, I'm not even too sure. Whatever it is goes into the intake. Have to actually look that up on Google, find out what the hell that's for. This is your stop and your run position. That's not a throttle control, it's just stop and run. Uh, condition of the oil. I'm sure all the machines are going to be a little bit different, but this one here, the oil looks brand new. So. Get that 
back on with my left hand. And not properly. There we go. And other than that, I don't know what else to really tell you. Uh, like I said, you want one, let me know. About 250 bucks, roughly. Probably even wing a deal for $250 shipped. So this one here I'm going to actually be hooking up uh, once we're done cutting off a certain object behind me hanging on a rack. Uh, once I finish cutting that up, uh, I'll be able to start this up, but I don't want to plute the garage just yet. <laughs> So, now for the starter, just a standard automotive type. Twelve volts, not twenty-four or anything like that. Alternator power, new standard uh, voltage in, out, nothing fancy. Uh, that there, I'm going to take it. Is your uh, you drain, so, or that's could actually I think so. I seen someone with an oil pressure gauge on there, because the other oil line is actually running up to here. So, and if that's your oil line, I, don't, I have no idea even where the oil or the oil goes into the cylinder from the oil pump or fuel pump. So that's what I always thought this was, but I guess not. I guess it actually goes right into the cylinder head somehow. Unless that's it, I have really no idea how to, or really no idea. And again, from what I see online, people just fill that up with oil, and then push this down with that rubber, uh, where is it on the viewfinder? Rubber seal. That primes it. Your compression release. And that's all I can really tell. And it also has a butterfly valve in here for, I guess, if you want to suck hot air. So, in that case, you just have to run a hose, I guess, from somewhere inside there. Uh, I don't really see any spots in there that you can do that. So, maybe the heat shield's missing. Not sure if they'll all be like that or if it's just this one. You can kind of see a clip right here. Guessing the hose would just clip onto the edge there, and that'd be good enough. So... But anyway, that's all I'm doing for this video, and I can't really give you any more information on this engine because I actually don't know. So that's the tag on it, 3600 RPM. I know there is a way to decode that for what year it was made, but I don't really care. Uh, they're not all going to be the same year. I know they're all ranging years, but uh, it's probably going to be a pretty boring video, and anyone that sees this video is probably hoping to see it run, but... Again, not until the deer are finished being cut up, and man, is it snowing out. <laughs> you can see there, uh, my tracks from just coming in, out from, uh, or my tracks from just coming inside are completely gone. And of course the snow is, uh, interfering with the motion detection, so I can't really change it unless I go all like that but it just keeps on going right back I gotta turn the sensitivity down that's all look how good this thing works at night for surveillance yeah it's pretty dark yeah <laughs> this camera is pretty dark outside my footprints are completely gone almost I'm not gonna get my iPhone all full of snow But that's the end of this video, and uh, hopefully next week I'll have it running.